It's not your talent that will determine what you can achieve in life. It's your mindset. Your mindset will either limit you, it will place the self-imposed ceiling on what you can achieve, or it could propel you forward to accomplish things that you never thought were possible. I heard a story recently that is a perfect example of this. There's this kid in high school and he is struggling. He's failing out. He's hanging out with the wrong people. He's disinterested, he's unmotivated. He doesn't do homework, he just has no interest in being there. He promised his mom though that he would sit the SATs, which are some standardized testing for college admission in the US. He didn't want to do it, but he promised her, so he did it. Now he wasn't expecting much from the results, but that day he opened up that letter, pulled out the paper, and saw his results. He had never been more shocked. Staring at him from that page was 1480. Now that's 1480 out of 1600. 1480 is a great score. It's a fantastic score. He can't believe it. In fact, his mother couldn't believe it either. She saw it and she was like, you cheated, didn't you? He said, no, I promise I didn't cheat. She's like, there's no way you got that score. Just tell me the truth. Did you cheat? And he goes, no, I didn't. He said, to be honest, if I could have cheated, I would have, but it was impossible to cheat on that test. That 1480 score, was real. Now that the kid realized he was smart, that he was a 1480, he started acting like it. He figured, well, I better go to class. In class, he met a new group of friends who were more ambitious, who were more driven, and who wanted to go to college. He stopped hanging around with the other people who were dragging him down. He started doing homework. His grades started steadily increasing. He was coming into his senior year in school, and he did really, really well. He ended up getting into college, which is something he never thought would have been possible. He then graduated from college. He got a job in a global company and had the opportunity to travel the world, getting promotion after promotion after promotion, climbing the ladder. He ended up being someone that others would look at and think, wow, what a success he is. I wanna be like that guy. So what's the moral of the story? You're probably thinking, well, you know, it's this guy who was really intelligent but he needed some standardized testing to prove it. And he got some confidence from that and then his life just took off. But that's not it. 15 years after he sat those SATs, he got a letter in the mail from the SAT board. And it said that in the year he did that test, there was a mistake. 11 people got the incorrect scores. And that his actual score, it wasn't 1480, it was 700. 720 out of 1600. Everybody thought that his life turned around when he got that 1480 score, but that wasn't the case. His life turned around when he started acting like a 1480. Your mindset can hold you back so much. We often get what we think we deserve. If you think you deserve a partner who treats you badly, you're probably gonna get it. If you don't think you're smart enough to go to college, you won't go. It's our minds that will set the ceiling. That's why you need to unlock those limitations of what you can achieve in life. And if you can do that, you might be able to achieve more than you ever thought you were capable of. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Do hit the like button as well. It really helps me out, helps the channel grow. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.